Alpha and Beta Houses. Please come down for your Monday house meeting. Alpha and Beta Houses. All right, gentlemen, I am. I am. Some of the things that I would characterize that is going great, the attitude has changed. Um, like um, this year, when I do cadences like I am a young man, I am my brother's keeper, the whole cafeteria gets me respect, doesn't matter how long, how, how they were talking before. So I think that they understand authority and respect authority a lot better. Do kids still get in trouble sometimes? Of course, they're kids. You I mean, that's, that's our job. But the, the thing that I love when they are in trouble and when I do talk to them, they show respect and they are willing to learn how to fix it. Because I always tell a young man, it's not what you do that usually gets you in trouble, but it's how you react to what you did when somebody corrects you. I'm, I'm Sterling Rowan, and uh, I'm Gus Garcia Man. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay um, I know so powerful, nothing can break it down. We and I don't think that you're going to solve the problem just by having girls one place and boys one place. I think it's a program that's going to help our students. But if you just separate the boys and girls, you're going to still have the same issues. I think by getting the right educators in front of students, uh, putting the right programs in front of students, and then giving them something that they can believe in. They can believe in, I'm my brother's keeper. You know, I am a young man. Letting them see that there's another way that we can do things. And I don't think it's a, a slippery slope so much because I don't feel like it's separating the boys and girls that's gonna get the academic performance. But I think it's about getting young men and young ladies to believe in themselves.